Hey there, Julian here and welcome to Memberscript 36. So this one is about password validation. Don't think too much explaining is needed on what that does, but I will show you anyways. So let's just go ahead and put some random email in here. And then as we can see, these are all X's and this is not clickable. It is completely useless. Then let's just go ahead and put, you know, eight characters and this becomes a check mark. Now let's put a number. This becomes a check mark. Now let's put an exclamation mark. This becomes a check mark. And now let's put an uppercase letter too. And as we can see, they're all good. And now this works. This is a Webflow form. Member stack is not on the site yet. That's why this is coming up, but the form can be submitted now. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how we actually implement that. So first of all, you are going to need to add your code for script 36, which is as follows. And there are comments left in each one of these groups to show what they do. So here we have the minimum length validation, we have special character, all of this. If you do not want to include all of these, let's say you don't want number validation, you can just go and remove like so and just delete it and it'll work perfectly fine. Then, you know, do the same for any other ones that you don't want to include. Other than that, you can leave the code as is and you're good to go. Now, what we've got over here is our password field, which is data MS member password. Just as always, you don't need to add any additional attributes to it. Just leave it as so. Then we also have this box here, which has everything. And each one of these points, as you can see, validation point, you don't need to use the same classes, by the way, has an attribute like so MS dash code dash PW dash validation. They all have that. This one is number. This one is special character. This one is upper lower case. So that's it for that. The only other thing to keep in mind is that this here, it has min length dash eight. If you want your min length to be shorter or longer, you could just change this number. Just make sure the dash is still there. Then all of them have these attributes, ms dash code dash pw dash validation dash icon. It's a mouthful. I know this is true and this is false. You can use whatever you want. You don't even need to use SVG icons. You can use images, text, whatever it is that you want. It's just these are what's going to show based on whether or not it is correct or not. Then let's see. That is all well and good. If you have those, everything should be working. And then there's also this bit here, which is making it so based on these, it is blocking out the submit or the sign up button, which you may want. Um, and if you do, then this is how to include that. So over here, one thing that we have is a combo class on the button, and it is called disabled. Style that however you want. As you can see with mine here, it is opacity 60. Then you can go ahead and remove that just like so. Then you're going to need to put this ms-code-submit-button attribute blank value on the button. And finally, the other thing here, we have an HTML embed and it's just that style, disabled class, brackets, pointer events, none, and that is it. So if you have that, everything will be working. If it's not, if you have any questions, comments, requests, whatever it is, let me know, julian at memberstack.com or in the 2.0 Slack, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.